There are new calls tonight to vaccinate racialized Canadians sooner. The National Advisory Council on Immunization says they're more at risk of developing COVID and should be moved up the priority list. But as CTV's Bender Sutton reports, BC is not changing its rollout, its rollout plans yet. COVID-19 is infecting all areas of our lives, yet several studies and experts agree the impact on people isn't equal. And those in racialized and marginalized communities, uh, this portion infected should be prioritized. The National Advisory Council on Immunization says along with essential workers who can't work from home, racialized Canadians who are disproportionately bearing the brunt of the virus should be moved up in the priority queue. It's progressive. This infectious disease expert says pop-up clinics or engaging with community groups to ensure equal access will be key. It doesn't have to necessarily be you have to declare your race, but it can proactively be where you're going to put vaccine and how you're going to engage people. Knowing that there may be communication issues, knowing that their way to access information, their outreach is going to be very different. This comes amidst concerns in the U.S. that people of color are being left behind. My personal opinion is that this is not a, 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 a fear of Latinos from getting the vaccine. I think it's lack of opportunities to get it. BC is prioritizing people based on age, which is the single biggest risk factor for death due to the virus. So I don't think they're mutually exclusive. They're not um, a separate group. What we're trying to do is ensure with every priority population that receives immunization that we're doing it in a way that's, that increases equity. Dr. Bonnie Henry says there will be outreach and the province will track vaccinations. If there's an issue with access, then it will be addressed. Binder Sajjan, CTV News, Victoria.